Hello everybody, welcome to the Higurashi cast. This is Higurashi Anonymous, where I have all my fellow fucking addicts. Who do we have here today? Oh, fuck. Uh, season two is way better. It's season one. Fuck yeah. That's Jelly Vina. He's oh yeah, that, yeah, yeah. Belly Vina, <laughs> Jelly Vina. I go by many names. You go by many names. You just need to give us one to know you by it tonight. Um, fellow addict here. Next, next fellow addict, please speak up. I have noodles in my mouth. I have noodles in my mouth. I won't be the only thing in your mouth tonight, Kajuro. Oh, I... <laughs> That's Kajuro better for one. He's got noodles in his mouth. Wait, you know, wait, wait, what are you going to do, Jell? Are you going to stick a knife in my mouth and, and show me <laughs> your phone and say, let's put you on Reddit? <laughs> Is that what you're going to do to me? Yeah. You sick yeah. bastard. I think, <laughs> I think this is the wrong podcast for that. Um, Whoops. You know what? Oh, I'll just introduce the rest of you. We have uh, we have another fellow addict. Um, you know, he was a little behind on the trend on getting hooked, but we have uh, Mr. Rido Torpedo. Uh, honey, it's 5 p.m. Time for your daily injection. This is true. It is time. It is time for your daily injection. I've got the huge ass needle right here. But before, before you get it, we need to introduce our final, our final, our final boy. Uh, a good boy. No need, bro. Uh, guys, uh, season two, like, actually good. Like, not, like, retarded, terrible, shitty animation that we can make fun of. It's, like, actually, you know, well-directed compelling storyline wow oh yeah baby oh yeah i'm hype i'm hype i'm hype like talking when she's allowed into the into the into the shed of mystery so we're gonna start boys gonna, oh my god are you gonna say the n-word should we say the n-word on the cast uh, uh, ready uh, i'm gonna say it oh, nipa uh, Nipa. Nipa. Thank God! Thank God! I did not need to like cut this entire conversation. You know? Nee nee. Nee nee. Yeah, nee nee. Big big brother. Yeah, that's big brother. a that's a big nee oh, nee. Don't remind me that that's, that's how a... it was fucking. It was okay. So um, we have watched how many episodes of the uh, well, season two of the old anime? Well. Twelve episodes of the old anime. And while this isn't relevant to most everyone else here. Uh, me and Jelly are up to episode 14 of the new anime, uh, which is current for us right now, I believe. Yeah, yeah. And we've, we've we, together, we've gone through an experience, you know, we've shared an experience like most addicts do. We've, we're, we're, we're balls deep into it. Um, but we should probably start with the beginning of season two. Oh, God. yeah. Rito, you're the most recent. <laughs> Help me out here. I'm a little, a little fuzzy. Oh yeah, no, Jell- Jelly's uh, kind the- of Jelly's kind of lost because yeah, yeah. it was season two was so good. Jelly watched six episodes with me and then left and watched the entire thing in like a day. Oh or yeah, something. and then watched the OVAs. Yeah, and, and then, <laughs> then I watched then all the new one. With the new one. Yeah, uh, season one starts off uh, with the reunion uh, of. Akasaka Sam uh, uh, with Oishi uh, at the uh, at like the worn da- the 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 ruins of Hinamizawa uh, years you later. Mean season two, right? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah no, it's, it's like season thirty years. They're not thirty. It's, no, uh, it's like I, I forget how many years. It's, it was a ten. It's like 10, it's like 15? a decade. It's a decade. It's, yeah, at least ten. So. At least because Raina's like a fully grown adult. Unfortunately, yeah. She. Oh God, no. She's hot. She's hot as an adult. Uh, mm. Aside from the fact that she has a crippling PTSD. Uh, <laughs> you know, you know. Uh, that uh, doesn't you, count. You, yeah, yeah. They 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 get together like chummy old buds. Um, you know, they round up the crew and talk about how how uh, great things used to be, uh, but not really, and how. Uh, um, you know, they talk about their crackpot theories about how uh, all the all the the truths they've been fed are actually lies. Gasp. Mm. Uh, Gasp. That is that is the that is the preface for the the rest of the season. I do, or love... at least I mean the rest of the first half of the season. Yeah, it, into... it begins with a I guess you would call it a flash forward. Uh, yeah, yeah, well, yeah, sure. flash forward ten years. Yeah. And what I loved about that, like what I know, I mean, 
I was paying attention and it was very interesting, but I had noticed immediately oh is she is the exact exactly the same like ten years later. Like Rena is super like traumatized and like you know, she's she can barely uh, hold it together, but Oishi is like, yeah. No, yeah. He looks super old. He look, he's oh, like he looks, he's so de- he looks retired. He looks like he does. Yeah, he just doesn't Dude, give a fuck. He's like, Dude, yeah. I'm gonna I'm gonna put the, the screenshot right here. He looks like an old dick, like an old shriveled like penis. Like that first shot when he introduces <laughs> Oichi and his like super first, like head. I'm like, this dude looks like a dick. He's just like with shoulders. Uh, I love him. Where did you, you know, put it, Noni? Uh, finally, his outward appearance matches his uh, his inner truth. In, uh, <laughs> in hindsight, I just realized that that scene actually raises a lot of questions that I that I, that they did not answer. Oh, well, I guess like the the, con- the the ship uh, being filled in with concrete. Well, uh, not that, but more so that, like, does this imply that every world that Rika's ever been to continues on even when she's gone? Oh, yes, yes 100%. Yes. yes. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, okay. I always assumed that. I didn't think, like, the world ended when Rika died. It's just that it's just, they it's all just died. It just stops mattering. The narrative stops mattering, which is why okay. the new season... I mean, it, it, I mean it, does, it does explain some things. Like... I mean, it, it, this well, for reasons we'll get into later. This uh, half of the season explains w- why uh, tons of people die. I mean, why oh, it gets into uh, the the problems that plague the entire show the, uh, up until now, or that continue to at least. Like um, se- season one when was. When you say problems, do you mean like conflicts, or do you mean like 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 the the, the driving forces behind ah, there we go. the events yeah, of Higurashi. I... Oh yeah. yeah. Season one is all speculation, and season two is all answers, and uh, it's it's going great. It's going great. Well, I, all answers they, they raising some new questions as well. Of course, but that's, of course. That's bound to happen. Uh, Did, uh, is this is just to touch on the whole like she leaves the past world like uh, we see uh because we're gonna do this later into the what's the the first arc is the lolly uh, s- trying to save rika arc but whatever like we see uh, even though the world that world is gonna quote unquote end and she's gonna leave it like she still tries to save her and save people so even mm-hmm. though rika dies and moves on to the next world she like tries to like you know not to get everyone killed before she leaves. If uh, okay, yeah, because I explained that already. I'm I'm trying to like remember or keep in mind how far you guys are and not speak on shit past twelve. Oh, so do you yeah. want me to? It, yeah, Jelly. Do you want me to me. establish? This is me. What, what the last thing later. we saw was? No, 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 no. I already know that. So oh, it's okay. ten years later. Why is Rena not L5 right now? I thought the whole premise was when the queen carrier dies, everyone fucking goes sicko mode and there's no cure. Uh, That's a good point. Oh, no, wait, she... Rena, she gets saved by Keiichi. This is the Rena that got saved by Keiichi. Yeah, she oh, wasn't yeah, around. She got, she got snapped out of her L5 by the power of friendship. <laughs> this is the Rena that had oh, after the epic their... boss battle on top of the school roof. Oh, though. it's the same yeah. Rena? Okay. Yeah. yeah, yeah, so she was already L5 back then. So you're telling uh, me the cure is Keiichi to ooh, just have a so, conversation with Wait, you. so this is the well, direct you, future if, of if, that if exact it, like, timeline from the season one finale? Sorry, Rito. Yeah, it is. Is um, that... Oh, I, okay. The or At least until episode one, it kind of seems like yeah. the next episode is then, like, kind of... The, some things are similar, but not everything is. Yeah, because it starts yeah, yeah, with like uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Rika, Rika yeah, super but it, excited. It, it's, it's it's kind of building on that. And it's how, just to like... make it clear, yeah, just to make it clear, episode one of season two is the same timeline. We Oichi says, "Oh, you're the girl who like you know had the bomb and got saved." But the next day, everyone just died except like you because you were in the hospital or something. Yeah, mm-hmm. she was far yeah, away. Yeah, she was out of range. Yeah. It. It also seems like in the oh gosh in the next one like like in the next uh, instance of everybody dying it seems like she there was like some other reason that she was also not there because it didn't seem like the the bomb thing had happened 
I'm trying to think. Like my memory of this is hazy too, even though I just yeah. watched it. It's because there, 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 there's so many overlapping timelines that it's kind yeah, of hard I'm, to wait, do. wait. I'm forgetting. Do you guys remember what went wrong in the beginning timeline? Because like season two starts with uh, you know continuing where season one left off, where like oh you know no one died, it's all Gucci, and then. Uh, fuck up happens and Rika has to start again right mm. okay the first arc in season two not counting the first episode which is just like you know flash yeah. forward trying to explore shit shit no we cannot move on yet aliens aliens bros that that's well, the first yeah, thing to open up that with. was that was just like the uh the cope explanation that's just like the uh what they were told mm. And that that wasn't like they were. That, that's what they were discussing in the first episode. Is like, yeah, I don't really think that's what was going on here. That's just like the, you know, them trying to cover up the the actual issue. Well, that's like that's like the conspiracy. That's like the QAnon. Well, th- th- that's <laughs> that's QAnon set, that's like. setting up the the rest of the season because they're like, well, we don't know what really happened, but until we do. And, but you, no, the but viewer, they, are gonna yeah. find out. They established later, they're like, oh, it's a new disease. I'm just like, oh, okay. Oh, so boy. The- okay, about that. Well, it's not, to put, to put, it's not it's even a- really a new disease in canon. It's an old disease that isn't like a, it's a secret disease. It's secret. Okay, as someone right. who had, you know, the, the, the pleasure of re-listening to all the podcasts, let's just, like, put this into perspective. At the beginning of Higurashi, oh, is it just a disease or is it a curse? Oh, I guess it's a curse because the demon hive mind, you keep mentioning this quirky demon hive mind. And then, no, actually, it's not the demon hive minds, bro. It's aliens and the dark dimension. But now we return all the way back. No, it's just a disease. But, like, there's also spirits because we finally meet Oya Chirusama as a oh, character. Oh, yeah, Hanyu. Yes. Yeah, Hanyu. Yeah, I mean, that, that's that's merely uh, that's merely happenstance uh, because like all those other things are there just to obfuscate what's yeah. really going on uh, with the oh gosh, what are they called the the name of the the group the t- uh, Tokyo Yamai Tokyo Yamaino no, no, Yamaino oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, no, no yeah not to- that, that, that's just like oh yeah saying I was that so- they're from Tokyo. <laughs> um, uh, no, Cetel and no, I. The secret organization is called Tokyo. Cetel and I had a good laugh about the Yamaino no, the, because the, when we I, figured I, out, were, I, I was under the impression they were referring to them as though they were the ones from Tokyo. Like, uh, yeah, me too. Back, back in Tokyo, yeah. like no. not like no, their no, no, organization no, no. is Tokyo's called the name Tokyo. Of the, yeah, the organization is called Tokyo. It is called yeah. Tokyo. Yeah. It is called Tokyo. We, yes, that's like that's like part of the thing. Oh yes, like the, weird and dumb. I was telling no need, but the title of the, I was telling someone the title of this episode has to be, parentheses 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 Tokyo. Tokyo, yes. Because the way <laughs> yeah. the way they explained what Tokyo was was just so, like. Yeah, it was just so triple parentheses. Uh, yes. Anyway, it, it is oh, confusing because was... it just is the same Tokyo as the city Tokyo. Um, well, yeah, the like, spelling like, and everything. It's called. I'm yeah. pretty yeah. sure. That's, even that's, the, yeah. that's the point. The point is for it to be confusing and stupid. You look at it and you're like, oh, 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 what's this? And Dude, like, it's Tokyo. Oh, yeah. wait, wait, wait. Dude, I'm so hyped for this not to turn out to be actually a disease and it's just actually <laughs> spirit aliens. They like, go just for you the, fucking they go watch for, it. They go for the fourth twist on... Yes. Yes. Hey, jelly. The fourth actually... Hey, jelly. Mm-hmm. Uh, Doesn't it feel great to know things? Oh, dumb it does. Fuck it does great. I thought no need for yes. read all the wiki. You, but you, that's... You see, you guys, uh, you guys shouldn't have done that because we're all supposed to be dumb together, but you, yeah. you ruined... I watched this before! Any of you yeah, any of but you, you yeah, but yeah, you're supposed well, to be. That's you why you're supposed to be the, the shepherd. Yeah, yeah, that's that's now why, that's, a, that's why you said the second Now I have a fellow shepherd to help me. Now I have a fellow no, shepherd. No, to help not, me. Not, not, you know, you chose the wrong shepherd. You chose <laughs> yeah, the you people, the recruit. one who will lead the people astray. It's Jelly. Jelly, Jelly's only here to lord over the rest of us. It's not. It's there, not to help anyone. there are two shepherds before you. One will always tell the truth, and one will always lie. Uh, uh, look forward to, to the special uh, uh, Higurashi cast Anon Anon with only me and Jelly, where we get to talk about the OVAs and the rest of the show. 
I mean, I really want to be a part OVAs. of that. I could do that. Uh, I just, I just really like the OVAs. Okay, They're wait. Great. Okay, wait. Uh, going back to the show, I wanted to say um, I was so so bizarre finding out that the Yamainu are the like janitor thug guys in the van. Yes. In town. Oh, yeah. And, uh, Look, yeah. Episode and me and one. Cito, yeah, Honestly, I was like, because like, that was perhaps the most cathartic thing about the season. Yeah. I was like, okay, that's no, because because you know, the whole time, clicks. the entire time, I just assumed that they were Sonozaki thugs, and then I was I was watching it, and then I joked with Sito. I was like, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. So these these thug guys actually work for like Irie and and those guys, but I was like, yeah. So I was like, can you? And then we yeah. joke, we were like, can you imagine like this whole town? There's like oh, three. Oh. Factions Dude. and families, they Dude. all have to share the same common pool of thugs. Like the Did thug union. They get together once a year to complain about thug unions. Yeah, uh, they have like a little powwow about like, ah, god, goddamn thug union raising their prices. <laughs> Fucking bullshit. They want health they need, care benefits too. They want another van? Fuck off. No way. <laughs> When we got when okay, we got can... like the epic reveal last season about the whole like you know key to hallucinations, one of the questions was, were the thugs real? Because if you remember, the thugs mm. knocked out Kiichi. Yeah. He woke up in his yes. house. Yeah. With like Reina and uh, you know Mion, and that's like oh I guess the thugs were just you know Yakuza thugs you know Sunuzaki. I guess now it makes sense that the actual you know Yamaino will capture Keiichi because he was sick and that's why Dr. Irie was also there. Yeah. Yeah, they were he, gonna inject him with uh, the thing that little little baby little baby yeah. Blondie always injects oh. herself with to stop her from going apeshit. Yeah. So bef- before we get too far into the actual thick of it, like just like going going through it like uh episode by episode, the uh, this arc starts like after they do like the the intro to the season. This the arc starts off with all of them playing like their their game of tag in the like one of the you know one of their fun like oh yeah fun parts of zombie the episode. Tag? Yeah, zombie the zombie tag. tag. And oh uh, yeah, where Reina where Reina gives Katie a boner and that's how she wins. Yeah, the the uh, the way. That they well, first of all, it, it, this it starts off with something unique to this arc is that it, uh, Chion is just a part of the group the from the start. Yeah, like she's just yeah. hanging out with all of them, and it's both of the it's both of the twins. Isn't um, this cool? And not them swapping out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I love it. Yeah, in yeah. No, it's, it's it's cool. In this timeline, Chion did, <laughs> lo- did not. Local, lo- in in this school, in this timeline, localized, localized in this very town. Uh, <laughs> uh, okay, in this timeline, Shion did not beat the ever living shit out of us. Uh, what the fuck is her name? Blonde Lolly. Satoko. 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 She did not beat the living shit out of her in this timeline. She actually like loves her and is like you know and wants to protect like, her because she's Sa- Satoshi's yeah. sister. Yeah, because I'm like the... so she asked her to take care of his sister. And I mean, yeah, like, that yeah. checks out. Well, and she and bro, she meant she like that. mentions that she remembers that in this arc. That so, you know, you can tell that she's well. She sort of starts to go crazy a little bit, and then she's calmed she's down by the one who who fights the the flows of fate. She definitely uh, seems. Chad, Chad like, she seems like she's the easiest to flip. Yeah. Well, know. that that's 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 uh that's women for you, you know. <laughs> all the, all they need is a little persuasion. Uh, okay. Uh, forgive so me. Forgive base, me. base, base, base. <laughs> no, Rita. I don't know if you deserve to be forgiven. <laughs> uh, no. The the way they draw the characters in this season is uh consider is considerably different from like the characters have a noticeably more mature look to them. Like in this picture I just posted. Uh, in the links, Keiichi looks like a mature, oh, like teenager in this, as compared to like this like little runt in the previous season. Like he doesn't look. He's not. They're not like older, right? They're the same. No. They're, like the time hasn't like 
Also, their their it's, eyes look um, a little glossy. I really feel like in season two, their stylistic flourishes have like they've gotten a good handle on it, which is really like in the I- images where they've like you know they've shortened them down to like ink brush strokes and the chibi versions. It really shows. Yeah. I especially I'm not gonna lie, uh, little 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 Rika with that little binky, really cute. Little, uh, really really Rika she baby. <laughs> little, little little baby Rika. She just going. She just sucky. She just sucky on her little binky. <laughs> oh my Very god. Cute. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. She's yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> mm. yeah, she, she doesn't yes, even yes, have. I love you, long time. Uh, uh, season two did have like redesigns, just so you know. After season one, this is by the way, this is the same you know legendary team that made season one. They're all you know the same people, but there I, were redesigns. I wonder. Yeah, yeah. It says I mean, it says yeah. so in the wiki. There were like redesigns in season two. The production was apparently a lot better and you can notice it this season two looks infinitely better than season one in a lot yeah. of aspects it just, it does just their better. their ability to like consistently animate this well like all the episodes look, look good. pretty good yeah, yeah. like on, on a regular basis have you noticed the background like they, the beginning shots ooh, yeah. of episode one there is so much detail and like you know the, the decrepit destroyed uh, fucking village I'm like, damn, this show, like, looks good. I mean, that's just, like, that's just better management, isn't it? Like, they managed the season a bit better, so it, like, worked better. And they, yeah, they, and they know, and I feel like they yeah. know exactly how far to take um, some of the crazier moments. Like, when Rika freaks out on uh, Irie and uh, Takano, and she yeah, yeah. she gets super pissed. Like, I thought that was really well done. It, it didn't get to, like, a a silly level but it was still like really like crazy and expressive and like whoa yeah Dude, th- which is what you're going for it was yeah. really good it was like uh there is so this much is the treat there is so much more like animation because when i was watching season one like we pointed out like there's just a lot of like you know sheep zoom ins the the fucking literal frame of the picture just shakes and that's apparently the movement in this I mean, season. that's not not animation. That's still I mean, animation. okay, Rita, you get what I mean. Like, like you, know. you know, they took a lot of focus uh, in it's, season there's, one. There's, there's, yeah, yeah. There, there's, yeah. there's definitely, so, there's definitely some cheating. Like, like, yeah, but it's probably again because of like poor product, poor production management. Like, it, I guess yeah, they've gotten this. I, I guess season one of Higurashi was such a success. They just like you know got the time and the actual budget to just like. Dude, the show looks fucking good. Like, I'm not gonna lie. I mean, I, I was surprised. I don't, I don't know about the budget, but and it's very well that they that they could have been I like think, um, working on some other stuff at the same time as the first season too. Yeah, and that's that it's probably just like it. due to the success of the first season, they got like just more allotted time to work more. on that specifically. Yeah, yeah. like uh, didn't Higurashi come out around like when the first Fate? Um, yeah, adaptations? yeah, yeah, it did, it did. That that could be that could basically be it. They put out they could have put out Higarashi because like all these visual novel adaptations were coming out and they were doing good. And like when the first one was incredibly popular, despite its like lack of like time put into it, they put aside a bit more time and they really made season two something. Because I don't think the budget increased whatsoever. I think they just had more time to manage it. Those kind of shortcuts imply to me that they um they were they were like. They were doing it last minute, in oh, the way Japan does, you I, know, where they were, like, grinding on the deadline. I just uh, looked it up. Yeah, they did They did Higurashi, like, right after... Wait. Oh, wait, yeah, no, there's over... Oh, wait, no, 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 that's mm-hmm. airing. Never I'll, mind, I'll never, I don't have know. overlap. I don't know. Like, I, that's, that's, that's entirely possible that... You know the shows yeah. the, that at least that Higurashi overlapped with something else, um, yeah. especially for Studio Dean too. Like I'd... yeah, the TLDR season two looks like fucking good. And uh, oh, and then yeah. the OP is great too. Very yeah. Oh fuck yeah! OP. Like season one OP is iconic, but season two is like it's on the nose. Like many people in, in while watching it have said that it's very on the nose, <laughs> but it's also like. Like da 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 da, it like, it like gets you pumped, you know. Like you hear you hear that you hear that come in, and you're like, yes, uh, I'm ready, I'm prepared. A note about the OP and ED. Uh, I guess this is for Zell. If you go to the ED, I'm pretty sure there is a couple of frames where Rika does make out with the fucking uh, Oyashiro-sama. 
with the goat oh, yeah. girl. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Goat girl. She's a... It's demon uh, girl. That's so yeah, the, cool the goat girl, so... Um, Hanyu, was it? Yeah, that's it. Yes, Hanyu! So, I... I love your rage, Jelly. I'm here for it. I... She is perhaps the the worst looking like visual element of the entire season. Like she looks like a really bad Photoshop. Like they just kind of blur the edges. Yes, yes, yeah, they did kind of yeah, just fade her out. (laughs) Yeah, yeah, it's it's there. Surely no one on this very on this very podcast would ever do anything like. Uh, surely, you know. uh, I'd have, I have I have integrity in my photoshops, all right? You know, <laughs> and... Oh, trust me, Rita, sweetheart. I wasn't uh, talking about I'll you. I'll create, I'll create, you know, I, I, w- I would have at least, you know, given given uh, given her a mask and, you know, at least you know, drop the opacity a little <coughs> bit. You know, it'd be uh, anything, something, anything to make it look like I didn't erase this out of a different image and drop it onto the oh, okay. frame. Okay, bullying, bullying, no need, but time is over. Moving <laughs> on to the actual show. Um, uh, yeah, I feel like Hanyu, at least so far in these 12 episodes, just exists to have Rika, like, talk to someone and verbalize uh, and, like, bounce everything <laughs> off of. When... When she's talking to Rika and Rika's like, wait, we can like change fate. Uh, okay, Pride. okay. She's like, hey, maybe, maybe you can change fate, and and and, and then she's like, wait, maybe I can change fate, and then then he's <laughs> like, well, th- maybe you know, maybe don't get too conceited because like you don't want to get too comfortable and then have like something sneak up on you. He's like, oh, oh, uh, I, <laughs> I'll watch. Just, just you watch me. I'll. <laughs> Dude, I'll be, okay. I'll be like, as conceited like as She's I want. Like, it's, it's really like this. Rick is like, oh my god, I hate everything. I'm so depressed. And then, like, good things happen. And she's like, oh, good things are happening. Maybe life is finally looking up. And Hanyu's like, yeah, bitch, I wouldn't, I wouldn't count on it, you know. And she's like, oh, shut the fuck up, Hanyu. Look at the, look at all the good things. Uh, finally, some good things. Watch, watch me, like, watch me you. be reckless. Let, 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 watch how nothing goes at, at wrong at all uh, as, oh. I, as I start I'm young and head reckless, first. Hanyu. I'm only a Let me have this. Oh, yeah. It's like, okay. Oh, yeah. I just, I I noticed. Wait, wait, wait. Don't even wait. In, like, the last few episodes we saw, we finally, I mean, at least I finally noticed a shot of the bottle to confirm that Rika is indeed, like, depressed at night sitting and swigging wine. (laughs) This century old eight year old is, like, is, like, (laughs) Drinking wine, being sad, just like contemplating her death and the death of all her friends. And Satoko keeps waking up. She's like, "What are you? Who are you talking to? Like, what? What's happening?" What? I know. I know you. Ch- I know you drink wine. Dude. I know you're a big. Uh, Dude, they do the head, scenes. Rika, they do the scenes. Chilling on the balcony, drinking wine, staring at the moon all day. Stuff goes to sleep. Uh, Rika, you know something bad happens. Rita, uh, fucking drooled uh, out of her mind next to the fridge, just drinking wine and sleeping on the fucking floor, waiting to die. <laughs> uh, the best thing is, Rika, um, Rika be, 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 be like the soft goat, the... shut up, mommy's had a hard day at work. <laughs> 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 you may have noticed this in like the, the, the uh, Satsuko abuse arc, but like these children can just buy alcohol. Yeah, the, the town yeah. just give, yeah. lets them buy alcohol. <laughs> yeah, Satsuko buys the grog for her abusive uncle. So clearly, she's like they're like they're buying all this alcohol, and Rika's just drinking it every night. Just like every night, she has like she has a you know she like cracks open a cold one and has it with her boy, and she's like, "Fuck Hanyu, I want to fucking die." And Hanyu's like, "I know, bitch, I know." You drink up your okay, I, I'm I'm not gonna lie. Let's okay at the beginning episode two, I think we get you know that in, we get a scene where we can just like you know flat out finally confirmed explain, I can travel between worlds whenever you know, uh, the world ends or I die or whatever. At the very specific moment, I just go back by a certain you know amount of time. And it gets shorter every time she travels until the point where now Rika has like two weeks whenever she goes back. And that's it. To fix stuff. Now Rika proceeds to say, I've been doing this for hundreds of years. 
and was like, yeah, bro, we've been like here for like hundreds of years. And we know that Tweeka previously did manage to go back years ago. Because we see, you know, small Rika talk to Aya Akasaka, whatever the fuck is his name. So, like, Rika... Akasaka is his name. Yes. Yeah, don't forget the honorifics, no need, don't be a uh, rude prick. Akasaka-san! I- I'm sorry, dude, please don't hit me, Dad, please. I just want to say, uh, for the amount of power and knowledge Rika should have, she's, like, fucking useless and uh, kind of, like, stupid and dumb. Because, like... Yeah, I, I just no. She's useless because she's in an eight body of an eight year old. You know, dude. Uh, she's she, also she, she only also, ever gotten to have the experiences of an eight year old. She, she like, also has the brain of an eight year old. So <laughs> yeah, she, she has. Yeah, it's true. Like it's later in the season, her. she has a moment where she's like, "Wait, I can, I can help too. Wait, I can actually. Yeah, wait, I don't yeah, have to. <laughs> I don't." Yeah, I don't, wait, I, I don't have to try to influence all these other people. Maybe maybe I could actually, like, do something. I'm Wait, uh, I have, like, social uh, significance in this town. I, I have, like, st- I have, like standing here. I could do something. Maybe, like, uh, I have, And like, then she does it, it, something. Maybe I have, like, information that could help me do something. Like, okay, we see that Tweeka. Oh, my fucking God. This, this does infuriate me because she's like, uh, oh, my God, this is the first time that things have went so well. I'm like... What do you mean this is the first time? We've been doing this for hundreds of years and you never thought to ever like ask the doctor or the people guarding you for help or like, you know, uh, manipulate people to do whatever you want. Like, wow, mm. Rick, so fucking yeah. epic Wait, smart. R- Rika would not, Rika is such a noob compared to uh, the, the virgin Rika versus the Chad Yuki Nagato from Harvey. <laughs> um. I, I am a little confused as to She's been doing this for fucking decades, and just now she's finding out that it's t- been Takano this whole time. Yeah. Oh, can we can we get into that? I mean. Oh yes. we, Yeah. I mean, well, if we, I, I think we're we're still skipping like the whole. We are uh, skipping a lot of things. Like the... um, to answer that really quickly, Jelly. Before now, what reason did she have to suspect Takano? Uh, okay, Takano uh, every time before that is dead. Sito, uh, sh- I'm, 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 you know, grabbing my gun, uh, shooting in the head. Sito, she's been doing this for like hundreds of years. And like, okay, there is one other like thing they keep mentioning: the ghost. The ghost chick is not bound to Rika. The ghost chick can just go on and she move on wherever. and see stuff. Hey, how about this? Why doesn't we can just ask, hey, ghost girl, how about, like, st- okay. stick to this I, person? I do know. What? I do know the answer to that. She doesn't She doesn't move on in that timeline. She goes back with the Rika, but she goes back in time. That's why, um, that's why Reina, you know how she says she hears oyashiro sama over her bed? Like a girl going, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. That's Hanyu. Yeah. Hanyu no, is no, no, sorry no, 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 for all no, the no, fucked no. up shit oh, that's happened to her. Sito, that's not what I'm talking about. Sito. The girl, okay. the ghost girl, is conscious and can move. Why doesn't Rika hey, And talk to Rika. Girl. Why doesn't Rika have her just be her recon uh, yes. uh, tactical hey, just, partner? Just do this. Just... Hey, ghost girl, just like go next to Takano and please see if she's insane or evil. Like someone is trying to kill me. She knows that someone is always oh, yeah. gunning for That's her. That's another thing. And every timeline she, she knows yes. this for a fact she knows Next that she she's ne- the qu- she's the queen bee okay. that like keeps okay. everyone alive she should prioritize keeping herself alive in every yes. timeline she never asks yeah. the should ghost she? hey ghost just literally stand around and please tell like okay the people who like you know okay hunt- I, yeah go i have a question for you um really quickly yes Say you knew God. Say you worshipped a God and you knew them. And they, they let you loop back to try and solve your own murder. And say, say, how would you feel as like as a child to go out to God and say, Hey God, could you like, um, could you like do all this work for me? I know you've given me the power to like uh, solve my no, own murder. No, no, and no. Possibly no, 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 Sito. This is, Sito. This is not Sito. some all-powerful God. This is yeah. a uh, uh, sit and whine while I... Uh, drink. I'm not, I'm not <laughs> saying that she's all powerful. I'm saying uh, she's C2, literally I'm just the god C2. that Rika if, has if I, if I, to if, like you know, worship. If I hang out with God for like 50 years, 
I'll probably ask him, you know, maybe once. For be a like, favor hey. or two. Yeah, maybe like, you know, <laughs> while we're drinking wine, you know, uh, having, you know, a deep philosophical conversation next to the moon about to die. I might be like, hey, dude, how about like, just like chill around my body? Just tell me what happens when I die. That would be really helpful. No, she she goes back with her. It's like, and sometimes she's not her, always around it when she dies. She asks her to spy on people for her. Yeah, she could just ask her to spy around. Okay, the point is, Rika has not been doing this for a week or two or a month or three. She's been doing this for hundred over a hundred years. Okay, you want you want a real answer, Nani, bro? Eight-year-old brain? Eight is that the answer? Brain. No, because then we wouldn't have a fucking story, would we? <laughs> Oh, well, oh my yeah. god, if you tell yeah. me that the fucking ghost is actually evil or something, I'm gonna, like, shoot myself. Well, no uh -huh. <laughs> Oh no, fuck! <laughs> <laughs> uh, I guess she's in the right seat. But, uh, uh... I yep, hope that's... Yep, yep. <laughs> uh, you know, I kinda, I, I kinda hope that's true. I kinda do. Okay, it I, kind I, of makes I, sense, I, just, I guess. Uh, uh, because the Hunt ghost is... A little cunt. All right, Hanyu, Hanyu's a useless little con. Oh, I'm a god. I have powers. Well, clearly, you have shit powers because you haven't been doing jack shit for the past 12 episodes to help. Fuck you, well, Hanyu. Hanyu is to this arc as, like, Rika was to the first season. Yeah. Like, yeah. just yeah. a... <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Like, like, I mean, okay, I, I feel awesome. I feel like that's kind of intense. Like they're uh, they're obviously not trying to play the Han Yu card yet. Like that's you know that's it's very intentional. Uh, I guess we uh, might, yeah, Hiddleston. We I guess I might there might be a reason why, she, but like, dude, because this is the same argument we had before. Why isn't Rika doing anything? To, like stop. Like Rika just chills around. Hey, remember the last. However, 12, uh, go back, 25, 26 episodes, plus these 12. Rika just chills around, does nothing. She's like, is like, you know, an immovable object. She's just like a part of the background. She does nothing. Even, god damn it, because we see in this arc, you know when Keiichi defies fate, and for example, gives the doll to Mian, and does all the good stuff. Like, Rika is just sitting yeah. there, pogging her face, being like, oh my god, I didn't know we could do that. <laughs> I just say it. She's a dumb cunt. Uh, yeah, of course she is. Oh, also, I love that about. I thought it was kind of I interesting. Know, I don't know if you know this, Nanibra, but you don't come to the show for competent protagonists, okay? <laughs> no, okay, you that's a fucking lie because Kiichi in these twelve episodes is the most confident anime protagonist of all time. He just is good. Oh, wait. This is wait, true. Before we That's because that. Keiichi has, like, um, been driven towards communism and collective action. Oh, uh, uh, wait, wait, wait. We'll get into that. Hang on. But um, I also thought it was kind of interesting. Like, maybe maybe it's just because season two so far has just been, like, one huge arc. Like, it seems like, like, like I mean... In the first season, it starts with Keiichi, and you know they focus on everyone like per arc, but it's it's very Keiichi heavy. The, the second season seems like Rika is like the main protagonist. Yes. Yeah, yes. it's it's still it's Keiichi very rooted in her the one, being the one that's driving like the changes in that is true. Uh, fate, seemingly. It's just that you're well, getting you're like... getting the different perspective on it. Uh, because Rika's the only one who can see uh, Hanyu. Yes. Yeah, it's like it's like it's like how it's got a question and an answer arc. Keiichi has all the questions because he's in you and he's an outsider. So coming into the narrative, having someone who doesn't know anything is useful for us as an audience. But then when we get to this second half, you want someone a bit more informed, and that's where Ri ah. that's where Rika comes in. She knows all the politics. Did you she's, say that that's he's why a she's Jew? the protagonist of the end. Very nice. Very nice. No! What did you call him? He said he's a Jew and he's, he's... he said he's a Q, like a question. Oh, he's the question what of the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> Jelly! How could you uh... No, he's he's like he's he's the one with all the questions and in the answer arc when we need answers, we need someone who has more answers but still asks questions. And even though even like, though she's been around for a hundred fucking years, she still has questions. Oh. She's just a depressed she's just a depressed uh, alcoholic I, I'm child. I'm not gonna she let this down. 
Dude, like, I fucking hope in the next 12 episodes we find out that the goat has been literally brainwashing Rika so she would keep failing. Because otherwise, it doesn't make any sense that Rika has never connected the dots in a hundred years. Like, seriously, there is... Listen. Okay, there is Green, there is Mion, Shion, Kaichi, Reina, and fucking Satoko, and her... And there is, there is the nurse, the dude, and, and the fucking doctor. These are like all the people of interest. Are you telling me across a hundred fucking years, Rika just, you know, took the approach of, dude, just stick to one person and see what the fuck they do? Yeah, has, hasn't uh, hasn't she ever seen Groundhog's Day? <laughs> exactly. Yeah. No, she has not. The Groundhog's Day wasn't made yet, I'm ah, pretty shit. fucking sure. And even if it was, oh, they wouldn't get it out. In oh my god, in, 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 that's why yeah. that's why it's set in 1983, because it's like the first Groundhog's Day ever. Uh, to happen. Yeah, that and, no... that and they need some sort of situation where everybody doesn't have a cell phone. That too, yeah. Oh yeah, it's oh, I guess... would solve yeah. also half oh, the fucking plot. Well, yeah, okay, but so in, consider, in, in consider like... the following. Consider the following. All right. How how old is Rika? She's like she's not older than ten. She's eight. Okay. So she's twelve. She's, she's twelve. Eight. She's fucking twelve. I checked it. Oh. Okay. She's twelve. She's, she's twelve, 12. and Keiichi is fourteen, and I think Mion is okay. either also fourteen or fifteen. Like these people. She's fifteen. If if. Yeah. Okay. Oh my god! Does that mean fuck? If she's twelve, does that mean that like? <laughs> does that mean then that one fucking joke they made in like the new season? They they thought like a fourteen year old was going away to fuck a twelve year old. Yeah. Fucking is yes. that what happened, Jelly? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Oh my god. Base. I mean, all when I you're four, is... when you when you're fourteen, you don't think it's fucked up that fucked up to have sex? Yeah, it's two year years. Yeah, but it's also like okay, you're twelve. You die. You die at 12. You wake up and you're a baby girl again and you're fucking confused. And you're trying to, you're trying to just, fuck, you know what a 12 year old's like, Noni Bro? You know how stupid a 12 year old is? Okay, a 12 year old who keeps all of his memories. It keeps adding. Too. We can remember everything. That's the fucking problem. It's not no, vision. No, this is, this is true, but it's like, if we go, no, if we go through this logically, and by this I mean if we go through this chronologically, right? So the first time she does this, she's 12, she dies, she wakes back up. And then uh, how many loops do you think it takes a 12-year-old to figure out how to solve their own murder? Uh, Sito? How many loops? Maybe Sito, how, like, I would how say... many people? Like, we know. Sito, I would say. We know all the people of interest. Yeah, no, no, oh, hold on. We know we know all the people of interest, but you also have to recognize that Rika is surrounded by like the Sonazaki family. There's like uh, 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 pause, there's like pause, gangs Sito, around it's her. It's time to get blown the fuck out because there's a <laughs> screenshot. I'm gonna fucking link it. And I'm gonna put it on screen. Rika says okay. in no uncertain terms, the one constant in every timeline is the nurse dies, the glasses dude dies, and I die. This is a constant in every timeline. I don't know why, but it's well, just it's is. a per it's a perceived Have constant, but it's not it's her? not necessarily yeah. a like yes. true. Yeah, yeah but Have you considered? Have you considered to this child? To this child, to this child she the... recognizes all of us, all of them as victims, dude, and therefore does not even consider any of them to be it, perpetrators. Dude, it does not matter because she herself points out. Oh. This is the constant. It doesn't matter if it's correct or right or, you know, if it's... Because we learned that the nurse doesn't... Or whatever. It doesn't matter. What matter is, Rika thinks that it's a constant, but she never bothers to investigate it in any other timeline. Like, we see it literally... She takes in it this for granted. Ep- in, she takes it yeah, for granted. in this batch of episodes, Rika sits next to a river and is like, wow, I guess the nurse was evil all along. And I'm just sitting there and be like... Oh my god, <laughs> this is not happening. You are retarded. Well, I mean, I, I guess. Think this I, is very fair. I guess, I, I guess when, I someone di- think, when someone I dies. I just think you're underestimating how retarded children are and she, she, how long it would take each child. Wine. Even if she had. I, look, yeah, she drinks wine because she's depressed, but she's also had like centuries of like getting her hopes up, trying to figure out who kills her, only for it to fail again over and over and over again. I have a I have a left turn. Go on. Um, okay, give me a left turn. 
Wasn't there wasn't there an arc, uh, like a really short arc we watched where everyone except Satoko dies and Satoko's in the hospital and Oishi yeah, fucking the first like one. chokes her out yeah, for and she... answers and then she dies? Okay, we don't, okay, we don't, we need your nuance. Did we today. miss we anything need, there? That's, no, that's, that's in the middle. That's, okay, so, okay, so, everyone, so, everyone. okay, okay, hold, hold well, on, hold on. I'm confused. Kajori, yes, that's episode five. That's in yes, the middle summarize. of the season. Rido, please that's just the first. summarize. Save us that, from that, that's when that's yeah that's when it's going through like Satoko's first arc and the, that's when she sees, uh, like Rika goes off in the middle of the night and gets killed oh, by yeah, the, yeah. When she, the dude when she and sees, then okay. that's what causes everybody to die. But she like makes her way. She was like the last one with Rika, I guess. Ah uh, so yes, like, that's how. That's how season one finale timeline ends, right? Um. Well, th- that kind. No. Yeah. That that uh, that's like after the flash forward. Yeah. Um. Yes. Yeah, and then and then yes. it goes. Okay. Yeah, and 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 okay, so uh, yeah. What well, the the arc you guys were talking about, like the 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 arc after that though, you guys were talking about with Takano not actually killing or like not actually dying but there's like yes. the body double the, those like the inconsistencies of like the body being dead before were shown like in previous arcs in season one yeah, but also yeah. this clears up an issue that we were talking about like before that we didn't understand was that like we don't understand how like the body well like you, the, like the body's swapping that's like a different thing but like also like she is driving she like she finds Keiichi and is driving cuz yeah. she like has the bike in the back yeah. uh and so now yes. yeah, that's like another that's another link to like events that so we can assume that that is instead of like um, there there are probably some timelines in which she actually dies but maybe in a different way but that is probably the constant that she is uh oh, instead yeah. killing um Oh, what's his face? The photography guy. The dude. Uh, oh, yeah. Uh, By the way, uh, uh, nice Tommy confirmation. Talk. Yes, Tommy Talk. Tommy Talk. They do Tommy fuck. Talk, yeah. They do fuck. We get. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yes. They have sex. Yeah. They're like, oh, they do fuck. And she's like, oh, don't you ever listen to me I, I, in bed? And I'm like, I guess. No, bitch, I come and sleep. All right. <laughs> <laughs> I come and snooze. <laughs> Okay, first arc because we we are jumping all around. Uh, summary. Uh, okay, after the flash forward, we you know jump to another Hinamizawa. Rika just exposits the whole plot, and it's really cool and based. Unless you think about it, but don't. This is Higubashi. Just moving on. <laughs> uh, now we get to see Satoko, which is okay. If you remember, for the most part, Satoko never goes full insane. Like, you know, uh, full murder, uh, hob, hob, stab, stab. Because she gets injections for this disease. Now that we learn. The On reason the why... reg. Every day. <laughs> yes. That's yeah. crazy. It's like, it's like, it's like she's got diabetes. Okay, by the way, about oh. the whole uh, injections. Dude, this show is fetishistic as fuck. Because the fucking oh, shots... Yeah. Oh yeah, the, her, getting inject, her getting her daily injection, hot, fucking hot, dude. They, they do <laughs> Thanks, frame Jelly. it like they always like frame it while she's in her underwear. I'm like, this is like weird and uncomfortable, and I hate this. Moving on, skip. Yeah, yeah, it, it, very fetishistic. I agree. Her getting the shit beaten out of her, hot, hot as fuck. <laughs> Just <laughs> her, her <laughs> being <laughs> bloody pulled. Uh, uh, okay. And she's all get... swollen in her little, her little she... face. <laughs> like, I, I don't she... feel so good. <laughs> <laughs> why okay, so why are you I threw up. Uh, Rika Time Traveler. Actually, uh, the thing that's happening, why everyone acts autistic and murder is because... Uh, the, what is it because called? Because they the leave Hina... the town. Yeah, yeah. The, Himin... the Hinazawa. What was the name of the village? Hinamizawa. Hinamizawa. Hinamizawa, Hinamizawa Syndrome, which is... Uh, uh, each person in whatever timeline it seems to be random but some person usually gets it and causes other people to die and then Rika gets killed and because Rika is quote unquote the queen or the carrier if she's in the vicinity of the people who are carrying the sickness they're just like fine but if you leave Hinamizawa symptoms start to manifest and you have to come back to quell them down but if they reach a certain point you will just go insane and probably lead in some 
vague way two murders and quirky shit happened. This would have been seen to at Higurashi. And the reason why, we keep getting flashback, even in season one, sometimes we get like, you know, flash forwards, like the gas attack. Hina Mizawa gets yes. destroyed. That's actually just, Rika gets killed, and everyone just goes insane and claws their own, like, throats, or just, like, you know, dies because of the syndrome. So it's all fine mm-hmm. and good. This arc mm-hmm. is about Satoko, uh, mm-hmm. slowly but surely, like, realizing there is something, you know, funky about Rika. She keeps saying, oh, I'm gonna die. It's useless. Blah, 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 blah. And just Satoko trying to save her and failing miserably. <laughs> And then she lives long enough to see all of that shit go down. And then she yeah, dies. I, I, and She lives long enough to see herself become the villain. <laughs> she, no, no, no. Yeah, yeah, she lives long enough to be chased around in the woods by scary men, uh, fall into a river, hit her head, crawl her way back to the village, see all of the dead bodies of her friends. Qu- uh, quirky question, why is everyone in the school? Like, the bodies are just, like, you know, on top of each other. Satoko looks yeah. the window, and there's just the body of all of her friends, just, like, dead. She screams, goes mm. into emotional shock, wakes up. I wonder why. It's I wonder the, why that is. It's the Jelly, why do you think that is? You know, actually, at, hold wait a second. Okay, I can't huh. say because it's a spoiler, but that... The, that doesn't make sense, actually. Why? Why? Fuck. Well, it does. No, 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 no. Make no, sense, no it doesn't. Actually. It doesn't because of what? Oh, okay. son of a bitch. I can't. Okay, <laughs> we'll talk about this next episode. But Satoko finding all of her friends dead in the classroom, and then them taking her to the hospital. That doesn't make sense, and I will explain why in episode two. <laughs> I mean, I mean. Okay, yeah, them, her going to the hospital, well, I suppose it kind of makes sense, because ca- they kind of made up everyone who was there, right? Like, everyone who was there kind of been them. So, like, someone, they had to, like, cover their own tracks, but, and it would have been easier and cleaner to get rid of her at the hospital, I guess? No. Yeah, that's my guess. You know. No. Also, they probably they probably wanted to check up on her if they found out that they were injecting uh, her and like suppressing the disease. See, how did that work out exactly? Mm, actually, okay, I agree with Jelly because like, okay, do you remember they buried down the entire fucking village? Wait. Yeah. Quick question: Why is Rain alive in the previous timeline? Because she was a, she was away. She was no, she, like after we... no after the school bombing blah because blah she blah. Isn't, she fucking she wasn't as important as runs. Rika she f- or as Satoko. Satoko was their test subject. Dude. And yeah yeah but, but remember just, like, lads remember. Okay we know as the audience that Keiichi power of love a talk new jitsu managed to break Rika free out of the level five disease you know the final insane stage. Why do the cops and the government, you know, believe that or give a shit? Why don't they just kill fucking Reyna? Because she has, you know, the level 5 disease. And instead they just let her roam around. No, no, she probably gets away. And then Oishi and, and, and crew try to track her down. And then meanwhile, the whole town gets fucking uh, blown the fuck out. Reyna's fine. Like, Reyna's an adult. I assume that Rain has been getting the same injection as Satoko has been getting. I yeah, I actually assume that Raina, because Raina is uh, by far the most intel, one of the most intelligent characters. In oh yeah, the show. yeah. I figured I figured Raina just like figured out when like they probably made an attempt in her life, and she's like, ah, oh, fuck this shit, I'm out. Like she's probably been in hiding. She's probably been living in like you know garbage places in hiding. I would not put that past. Uh, her. That's uh, a very she thing she to do. she works at office job. She has the the generic office. I guess fine. They let her live because I guess they let her live. Even I mean, though they let her live because they have bigger problems. Because the rest of the town was just dist- like destroyed intentionally, and, intentionally yeah. destroyed. This is a government plot we led. Yes. And who's the mastermind behind all of this so far? Kajoro, uh, it's our favorite character. We now our officially favorite. Get... We yeah, now know way... why Ara Ara Nurse Takano is such a smug motherfucker. Oh man, we stand a queen. Fucking 
I I am this is jumping ahead again, but fucking her little her little moe face when she's like in here. When she says Nipa You'll let me in here When she says Dude. the N-word. Dude, we, we we all thought like absolute retards. She was the one getting blown the fuck out in every other Yeah. Hour. Turns yeah, out she was the blowing out the rare. fuck out to everyone else. Of everyone. <laughs> everyone. God damn. Like damn. She is <laughs> Like the amount of jokes. And, like, shitty, like, jabs we made at her. Oh, she always dies. What, what a retard. No, it doesn't. Yeah. <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah. I. This is how I felt the entire time. I feel very vindicated. I, I'm very <laughs> amused. <laughs> so she's still just sitting there the whole time with, like, her hands over her mouth. like, <laughs> they don't know. Like, see, see to... Yeah. <laughs> no, no, no. We're, it's that meme with the standing in the corner, they don't know meme. Like, see, like, we're all... Uh, like partying and shitting on Higurashi and shitting on Takano and Seetol's in the corner uh, yeah. standing there with her cup and she's like they don't know <laughs> they don't know <laughs> I guess oh by the way the arc ends oh yeah one scene to mention before we just move on to the main one even though we've been talking about it the entire time uh, the weird scene where Oichi just bars into the room grabs you know comatose 12 year old and starts shaking her violently give me, give me the answers <laughs> the numbers I, mason what do they mean you know Fuck i i think you. I, <laughs> I think that's a shout out to the audience like after a season because this is after the end of season one he oishi is us just grabbing satsuko it's like give me the answers what is happening tell me uh, ah. the, the nurse opens the door what is happening? And he and he just you know nothing. Uh, grabs ties and goes out. By the way, we find out all the pedos are actually the good guys in this show. Oh yeah. Oh Have, my God, oh, you're right. Did you really? <laughs> did you, did you really expect anything else? Like honestly, if look at this show. Take one look at this show. And did you really expect for one second anything else? Dude, uh, let, let's go down the list. Oichi, I guess is a good guy. Uh, Keiichi is the goodest guy. Uh, the fucking people in the ice cream shop, uh, uh, like you know, group stand up. They're like, oh my god, we're the group. What was the name? Fan of cute girls, and they're all pedos. Oh yeah, all yeah, yeah. The <laughs> old pedos. Oh, and, but we didn't, the we didn't guys. get to that part yet. Oh my god, we didn't get to the part where the show just go. The show goes like, guys, we keep losing. Because one of us murders someone, we have to use bureaucracy to do. <laughs> no, no, it's not bureaucracy. It's collectivism it's collective versus. It's collectivism versus bureaucracy. It's collectivism it's versus collective bureaucracy. action. Did you know that as a unit, we can go ahead, we have more power than we do as individuals. We can use our collective power to push the government to do the things we want. We can do it, bitch. Well, uh, well communism for the week. Not really. It's not communism, though. It's what actually communism, happened okay. was the, another authority figure made the change. It actually yes. wasn't. Oh yeah. It, it was wasn't, literally. Like, it was like, literally like, connections yeah, no, and big yeah. wigs. It was literally the cutthroat capitalists. That was the, literally just going to ignore yeah. them the whole time, and then got a call from the mayor because the old grandma is like, "Hey, fucking do this thing." Oh, okay. Oni Baba. Onibaba. So really, Onibaba. Really, Great movie. capitalism wins again. <laughs> oh, yeah, I also true. the fact that Shion and Mion's mom's name is Akane. Uh, I find that very. Uh, by the way, have you seen what? have you seen Mion and Shion's dad? He looks like a fucking absolute unit. <laughs> yeah. Like like I'm like. No, he fucks. Like, I'm like, yeah, you know. No wonder his, his girls have big tits, you know. Good teens. <laughs> Good teens. <laughs> like, all the broadness of his shoulder is manifested in the tits. Yeah, I, I, I did like, I did like after that arc, uh, uh, uh Odio, is it, what's, what's her name? The, the old lady, uh, uh, is it Odio? Odio? Odibaba? Odio. Odibaba. Yeah. Oni, uh, the uh, the they affectionately refer to her as Oni Baba. Yes. Um. But yeah. Uh. She's like, oh, I, I, I like that cage. Oh yeah. He goes in there. And slams you you, cock you on take the table. care of that cage. You yeah. You take you take care he's of. Like, him he's like he's like you help this child and she's like oh what and he's like I'll fucking kill you bitch. <laughs> she's like oh. 
Like, what kidding. did you just say to me? And then he's Damn, like, Damn, I haven't well, been this he... wet in years. <laughs> 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 yeah, I've been crispy down there for so long. I didn't think it was possible. Oh, my fucking God. And then, <laughs> no, no, and then she yells yeah, back. And she's and like, like, I need like, to take my horny you... pills. She's like, how dare you talk to me like that? So you know who you're fucking dealing with? And then Keiichi's just like, whoa. This is the power of the Sonozaki clan. Like, yo, <laughs> like just this old woman yelled at me. Like, whoa, she's a lot. Her voice is a lot louder. Dude, than I okay. It by be. the way, I, I, I would terrified. like to point out. I would like to point out that Kiichi, you know, okay, because apparently all the autism, you know, in season one was just because of the virus pros, and now the characters are all neurotypical. Okay, Kiichi, for whatever reason. When he talks with the like, you know Oni Baba, he just forgets. This is the Yakuza. They kill people. He knows they killed people before, but he's just like, yes, I will stand here and shout at them, and it will all work out. I guess. <laughs> he's like he forgets she's the Yakuza. He just remembers that he's Mion and Shion's grandma. It's like oh no, it's my friend. Yeah, I'm just gonna threaten to crack her skull open. No, no big deal. Yeah. Uh, she'll she'll respect I'm me just, for I'm it. Just, She'll, I'll just she's be in like, the skull I'll be cracking like America. business. I'll, I'll remove, I'll remove the current person in power and place in my own figurehead, or which I can use to uh, push the things that I yes, want. Based. He's t- yes, based. Yes. I guess. Okay. Uh, see, what was my? Is he Gubashi dating scene? A dating it's a visual novel. No, it's a visual novel. It's a visual no, novel. it's a visual novel. But like, is there like a different variation where he ends up with different girl? Because like, I don't know about you lads. They really are. Throughout all the acts, even the new one, the new anime stuff. Mion and Keiichi. Like, oh, uh, you know, he gives a thought to Mion. Oh, you know, Mion always talks about him. Oh, you know, you should take care of that boy. You know, the grandma says to the mom. Like, I'm, like the Mion uh, Keiichi ship uh, is based. And, and I full support. Reina is way too good for the dude. She's way too no, smart no, no, no. Cringe, for cringe, his stupid cringe. ass. It's, it's, it's obviously Satoko and and, Sat- and Keiji, which you will you will get a full taste of in the new uh, season <laughs> if you watch that. Oh my god, no, uh, no. Yes, yes. I was rubbing my I was rubbing my age. hands and many other things the entire time. <laughs> <laughs> they are they are of that age after all. Right. all. Jesus fucking Christ! Okay, so they, I don't know, I they, I like I like Reina I like Reina and Keiichi, but I mostly like dude, that because I like Reina. No, I'm not. Uh, gonna I, I, I'm after seeing after power seeing power. hot older Reina, I'm officially Reina pilled. Uh, <laughs> you're Reina pilled. I'm, you're I'm with no need, but I think Mion and Keiichi. Dude, would dude, be a no, girl. my favorite character is Reina. I just think she's way too good for Keiichi. I still think Keiichi is just too much of an artismal retard. <laughs> To be with I, I liked how when when they're like, oh, well, you, you you younger girls don't understand uh, how to how to use feminine charm, and the, they're at the like the little zombie tag game they had at the beginning, yeah, and they're, yeah, yeah. they're literally just like, yeah. what the fuck are you talking about? What what <laughs> what? Also, they like older by two years, so I guess uh, yeah. cool. cool. Yeah, but they have fat titties. They just don't. Yeah, they don't have a sex drive yet. They don't yeah. have tits yet, you know. They're just, you know, in the anime, they just grow by half their size. They're just increased by half their size and have tits in less than two years. A lot can happen in two yeah, years. Yeah, that's how puberty works. Uh, based. No, but like what I'm yeah, saying my... is, what I'm saying. <laughs> my uh, favorite Reina is still is... Shion. <laughs> okay, Rena is best girl, but like as far as I'm concerned, the show is. You know, full on uh, Mion uh, Keiichi, you know. Even the no, no, scene, no, no, okay. No, no. Dude, Let's go. The, the doll scene. Where, like, you know, when Rika Pogs, can this happen, bro? I didn't oh. even know this. <laughs> like a dog. <double. laughs> we, need, we need to find a Rika Pog. <laughs> we need it. Uh, uh, Keiichi gives the doll to Mion. Mion looks at Twina. And Raina, like the absolute big thundercock chat she is. She's like, I don't give a fuck. Uh, yeah, I just have it. Accept his feelings or whatever. And I'm like, God, Raina's so fucking base. <laughs> Raina, like jealousy? No. Friendship. No, Raina yes. likes being cocked. She, she is a cock. I don't think. No, Raina. I, but yeah, what? Raina fucks. I went to see No, Raina fucks like real men, not like Kate. 
<laughs> Raider fuck, she ought to be on the dead. Yes. That's who Raider's yeah, fucking. <laughs> I, w- I was gonna say Oishi, but yeah, that's probably better. Uh, fucking, who fucks you? Oh, oh, fucking, he, oh, he should be lucky if Akasaka fucks him. Uh, well, yeah, Akasaka's wife and baby survive in this one because he, he takes Rika's advice in that one timeline. Yeah, that was based. That was pretty based. Yeah. Uh, I think, I think, like, with the, with the Rika thing in that area, it's just like, um, because she says she gets, she gets, like, less time each time. Yeah. She literally just, like, she made that decision before she could go that far back. And she's like, oh, okay. That's why she's always so excited to see Akasaka. Dude. She hasn't seen him in, like, like fucking 50 years. Dude, no, but no, but okay, okay. Back to the fucking point. When is like, oh, my wife and, uh, you know, the daughter is alive. Baby. Yeah, the baby. Uh, Rika, there's the pog again. And she's like, wait, it can happen, bro? She, and I'm she like, does, oh, my God. She does a pog, though. Well, it's like she hasn't seen it's Akasaka. A, it's an, it's an internal pog. Yeah, it's, an, it's an emotional pog. It's... Dude, I'm not gonna She's lie. She's just her her soul's leaving her body. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Rika keeps talking about look look the fate, you know my fate. It can never be escaped, and I'm like, dude, shit changes so easily and so often that you have no reason to believe it to be this way. Like I don't get like, oh my god, Kichi gave the doll. Okay. It fucking grabs her head. I can't believe this. Wow, we're not playing cards? Oh my god. Like, okay, the scene in the previous arc, uh, the one with Satoko trying to save her. She should be writing this shit down. Yeah, she should be doing that. When she's in the fucking maiden outfit, and the, and the fucking grandma grabs the scissor, and she's like, give me a second. These twins are too long. Raina just freaks the fuck out, and she's like, Oh my god, these twins were never too long in any other timeline. <laughs> What's going on? <laughs> Look, that was... Hey, hey, hey. No, no, well, no. You, you, talk, you do talk a lot about like, oh, they can't, in a hundred years, she didn't notice this in a hundred years. I mean, that's, you know, that's something. That's that that's what you've been asking for. There you go. I mean, yeah. that's, that's, a, that's, a, that's a very I minute mean, detail that... that she picked up on. Even then, yeah. I would like to bring out the Deus Ex Machina of this show for Rika's stupidity. Aside from her, like, you, are you prepared for it, Anidra? Are you prepared for it? She's depressed. See, so depression isn't real. Yeah, it's not real. That's that's cool <laughs> answer. See, so get blown the fuck up again. Listen. You know. <laughs> that's what the, that what that what uh, that's what the wine is for. <laughs> yes, the, 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 the wine is <laughs> not. I know, I know, I know. It makes it worse. Okay, Sito. I know, I know. It's just Sito. She can either be retarded or smart. She cannot be both. I can. I was laughing. Listen, the the reason I'm fixating on this so hard is the scene in the river when she discovers Ara Ara Nurse big plot, and she's like, "Oh my god, she was evil." I was genuinely like laughing. I was like, "This is the greatest thing I have ever seen." That's fair. That's fair. I'm just saying that she's like she's a depressed she's a depressed girl who's going through some shit and she can't get her shit. She together. just needs some hard as, work from Akasaka. It should be fine. I'm not gonna lie, Nanny Bra, I'm not gonna lie I relate. I relate way too hard. I fucking relate to this depressed, stupid child. Um and she's good and correct and you can't change my mind. Oh my oh my I'm fucking right. god, I just remembered another thing. Okay, th- this week a rabbit hole. No, this just... week a rabbit hole will never fucking end. Why does Rika act in every timeline? Like she just plays her role so perfectly. Like she says the meme lines and like you know it does the correct thing in every time. I'm like, dude, you're trying to quote unquote change the timeline. Why are you repeating the no, same think... actions? Wait, no, no, no need, bro. I think. I think the ones we see in like season one are ones where she wants to take like a back seat and see what happens and see if it sort of if things resolve themselves or whatever. And then in the second season, she's like, uh, she's like ready to, she's like giving up. And then she decides to act mm. more in those ones. I think another big thing is um, it's also shown that Han Yu, you know, literal god, is like, hey, you know, maybe just wait, wait it out. Like she literally has the only constant in her life is literally telling her, "Don't, don't worry about it, bro. Just wait it out. Just wait it out." Fuck. Like, like the answer isn't to take actions yourself. It is to just I, wait I'm out. Sensing, until you I'm get, sensing. I'm sensing. I'm gonna spending. get blown the fuck out in the next twelve episodes. 
where there's, you know, an actual explanation for this, you're just dodging. But, like, you know, I'm just gonna accept my fate as being dumb this, in this one. Uh, <laughs> we'll, we'll see. Yeah, no. <laughs> I know, Jelly, I know. Oh, boy, there's so much. Fucking hell. God we're gonna damn. watch, like, one episode yeah. more. We're gonna watch episode 13. Uh, we're gonna have yeah, so and then Tito is gonna, like, you know, start the next cat just sitting all over No Need, bro. <laughs> Listen, who doesn't love shitting all over No Need Bread? It's fun for the whole family. It's not fun when No Need Bra does it to himself too easily. Like yeah. it's there's no sport in it anymore. <laughs> sport. That's I, I do fully support No Need Bra. I, 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 it's always the problem I have with characters who have, oh, I've been doing X Y Z for a hundred years and. I'm just now figuring out things. It's like, oh, come on. That's... I mean, I, I know. Yeah, no, it's fair and balanced. Well, the story I, I just takes it. place it when they happen to much. figure things out. There are probably plenty of uh, arcs where it yeah. could have gotten close. but Yeah. It's really, it's very much like this is this is the narrative. Like, yeah. this is how you have a compelling story is to have Rika figure things out while we're here with her. Uh, yeah, a lot of times what, logic poking a show this much is not... No, really I, I just personally find it or... funny. Uh, I mean, it I is a, funny. It is. It is. What's the name I get of that why it's 100 fucker? years. It it's just because, it, you know, 100 years is a big number. It's supposed to be, oh, 100 years. That is but, true. Like, yeah. I, I felt the same way when I heard that it was a 10-year uh, flash forward. And, like, okay, so 10 years later, and they're just now getting the balls to, okay, we got to go back and figure out what really happened. It's been 10 years. What have you been doing for 10 years? <laughs> Uh, having sucking having dick, a life elsewhere, re- oh, being retired. Oh, by the way, where the fu- oh my fucking god, where is Akasaka? Hey, remember Akasaka remembers Rika. He's like, oh yeah, you saved my like uh, wife and child, but like you know, bro. I'm just saying, even though you told me uh, you're gonna die in like a week or two, I'm just gonna fuck off to the spa. Oh yeah, actually, you know that w- that was retarded. Uh, how they how they like retcon that or how they how they adapted that for this arc because it was uh oh yeah remember you saved my wife i went you told me to go back to the hospital because something bad might happen and then i saw my wife and then uh later a janitor fell uh not (laughs) not the janitor died but the janitor fell like uh how how on earth was Uh, this reported to them how would they be in it like (laughs) I, uh, under under <laughs> what, like was, under what circumstances? Like, 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 like guys, the, guys. When you're in a hospital, you we wanted to let you know. We, we're letting the whole hospital know right now that the janitor, janitor fell, fell down the fell stairs. Down. Yeah. Have you guys ever been stuck in a hospital for an extended period of time? <laughs> yeah. Yes. Yes. And and you haven't like you haven't like heard shit going Not on about like the, the nurses gossip. No. <laughs> yeah. No one cares. About I feel like. <laughs> uh, I think I think like I think like. Some woman just fell down the steps at the hospital like a couple of days ago, and they were still talking about it at my hospital. Hmm. So it's like I, I, I believe. You it. know what? The janitor probably like injured himself badly, so that's why he told. Yeah, and people, he made a big deal. You know, yeah. started the union all about you know fell down the stairs, <laughs> forced the government. Okay, but even, the- but even then, he his wife was like having a child. You know, normally you'd think like yeah, yeah, yeah. That's that's interesting details. I'm my wife's pregnant though. Uh, I'm like you know just I understand it's for the sake of the like the story, yeah, but yeah. it's it's just kind of a yeah a, a weird. A, uh, there is a I don't know that like one that. stood out to me. I'm, I'm gonna mention it in a second, but like it is really funny that you know he believes Rika. It's like on some you know oh he uh, he, he, he thinks yeah. or whatever, but then like he shows up. But then, for whatever reason, he just forgets she told him she's gonna die in, like, a week. He and does then, forget that part, yeah. Yeah, he just forgets that part. He remembers the part where she saved his wife. He conveniently forgets the part where she's like, oh, yeah, by the way, I'm gonna die next week. And he just fucks off to the spa to have, you know, steamy sex yeah. in one of those yeah. dozens with his wife. I, I guess. Yeah, she calls Oishi for him, and he's like, oh, no, he's gone. He, he went to the spa. So it's just like, What? Yeah. So Sotoko gets saved. They, they take take her uncle to the jail. He's in jail. He's getting raped by uh, Tyrone. All, all is well. <laughs> As uh, how did Rico get blown the fuck out? Not uh, yet. Oh, Which one? Not, Not yet. yet. No, she hasn't gotten blown the fuck out yet. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sot- but they we expected. Sotoko, but now, 
Yeah. Now Takano's like evil fucking haha. Uh, I'm evil. Don't you remember when I told you I was evil in bed when I was sucking your cock? Haha. <laughs> He's like, no, bitch, I was cooming. Yeah. And then I was snoozing. snoozing. Well, we'll, we'll, we'll find out how Rika and the gang gets blown the fuck out next episode. Dude, obviously they're going to get blown the fuck out because I, I, I was like, this feels like the finale looks at the episode. There is still 13 oh. more. Oh, yeah. They are uh, gonna get uh, he he just got blown. Looks like, looks like they got time. him. Looks like, looks uh, like talking about <laughs> got him. Oh, yeah. yeah. Uh, Nonibra, <laughs> no. Nonibra got sniped down by the Oh, yeah, uh, fucking Oishi. You, just like Oishi. God damn. Yeah, that was rough. That, I, Cause like when I saw yeah. that, I was like, "Well, this, this, this world's done. This is a wash. This world is." Yeah, fucking rip Oishi. God, Oishi. Um. Oishi makes me feel some kind of way. Yeah, you know? like, like Tomi Taka. Uh, I, what I, I clearly... what kind of way? Would you would you care to clarify? Yeah. <laughs> Uh, does, 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 does he make does he make he you say so oi mm, oi she no he makes me he makes me say um everybody knows shit's fucked and then uh it continues on in that vibe did we do oh, it right fucking right? god fuck okay i think we did uh it. next okay. time on higurashi no nako korni kai is that it kai. is that what we're stopping kai kai wait lads lads the baseball game. We completely skipped the baseball game. Oh! We fucking forgot oh, about the shit. best character in all of Higurashi. The base- oh, of course! The of course! The fucking the baseball dessert game. guy. Uh, the, the other pedal. Like, this is like where Higurashi. Yes! This is where. This is where. This is where. Um. Keiichi's pervert powers really come into play. Oh, yes. Powers. <laughs> That's what they are! That's what they are! He has this power to like find other perms and just be like, bro. Dude, it's, fine. It's, bro, it's okay, bro. It's true kinship uh, between men, uh, Sito. You wouldn't yeah, understand. True kinship between men. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, Kajoro. Can oh you... and oh my god! And Keiji launches into that speech where he's like, "Oh yeah, yeah, you, you, you like desserts because it makes you like you eating a dessert makes you think of you deflowering <laughs> like a little girl, yes. don't, isn't it?" <laughs> and he's like, and he's like, "Oh no, how does he know?" And I was like, "Oh, <laughs> dude, it, it makes it's, you think. That it makes you think oh, of I love consuming. That yeah, it, when you eat sweets." <laughs> You don't eat them. You devour them. You consume them like you want to consume the little girls. And he's just oh, like yeah. laughing at him, and I'm like, oh my it's god. Based. It's based. Listen, like, it's funny because it's true. Like him eating desserts is like a allegorical, is an allegory for like a like a dirty bastard uh, dojin of. A dirty bastard fucking a little girl. Is that what he was yeah. going for? Oh, oh my god! Oh my god! The fucking line when he says, "Oh, uh, you you eat sweets the same way you imagine a jock who like you know uh, has all the girls in his hands." And I'm like, "What? What? What? <laughs> what are you saying?" Oh, by the way, he comes back later. Is the best character when Kichi gives the speech again in the middle of a restaurant, and he's like. Dude, yes. you need to help me. A man, I'm gonna. I, th- I think I have it. <laughs> yes. And when he's, when he's like, you have to come. You have to. Hey, hey, bro, you gotta come help us. Uh, save our friend. Uh, from child abuse. Uh, and then he's like, oh, but you know, there's like a, there's like a dessert eating contest tomorrow Dude, or something. I a don't man. Know I here's be. the quote: A man who doesn't save a girl in need does not deserve. Cream. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. That is, there's so many, there's so many layers to that cream. sentence. Yeah. Uh, oh my god, that's that's what the name of, Oh my god. No need, bro. That should be the title of this episode. It should be parentheses, 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 Tokyo doesn't deserve cream. Dude. <laughs> yeah. Okay, we zoom out in that scene. And you know all the guys stand up, and they're like, "Yes, we will help you." K. They call him K. They don't call him Keiichi. Yeah. They call him K. 
they all like stand up and Captain K and they're all like you know different groups of pedos like some of them are like into cute girls some of them are just into protecting little girls and they're like all the pedos were just like hiding in this like you know restaurant they all like bond with him the weirdest thing is uh we know cut you know in the same sweet place or whatever we like you know cut to the maids with like Xian and Mian and like yeah 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 Kate, the Kate, angel she, more they heard your speech and they want to help you too and i'm <laughs> like have they heard what you were saying <laughs> yes and they uh and they still agree these girls willing to willing to sacrifice a lot for this shot they, they're like that's kind of fucked up and then uh Xion's like oh it's for a kid and they're like I guess he's okay. I was really, I was really glad to start getting these answers with all of you. I yeah. can't wait. I can't wait till we reach the end and we know everything. Then you know everything that me and Jelly. Yep, know. and then and you can, can watch the new season and wonder what the fuck. <laughs> oh yeah, then you can watch the new season and you can sit there like me screeching, and then Jelly can make mild commentary, which makes it slightly better. Fuck! I hate the new no, anime. No, it's based. No, it's based. Okay. Anime's all based. right. All right. Uh, goodbye. goodbye. Bye. 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 Bye.